Peace to the planet. It's the Prince of Pissing People Off, the ruler of rubbing you the wrong way, the architect of aggravation, all by accident. Charlemagne the God, and right now you watching this is 50.com. Jack Thriller, what up? This ain't no accident. This is God's work. <laughs> Charlamagne, what's up, baby? Jack Thriller, what's up, my brother? Man, dog, I'm, I'm really happy to have you here, man. What's happening? You Yo, come fuck with you. You always come fuck with me, so. Let's talk about being uncomfortable in interviews, right? Like, who, who would you say that made you the most uncomfortable? Because I seen a couple of interviews, and it seemed like you you kind of, you was a little out of character. You know? no, nobody make me uncomfortable, but it's just like, I got, like when, when, I, when I don't understand something, I listen with the intent to, to ah, understand. I see and not reply. Okay. Then, so the last person that was was definitely Dame Dash. I'm like, if you want to deliver well, the, the message, point is you're nah, it. I don't want to hear that. It's, it's you lying. <laughs> you lying. Call out a name or you lying. <laughs> call out a name. Be a man and call out a name or you gossiping or you chatty right, patty. I'm gossiping. Then. I'm chatty, so, right, chatty, chatty, chatty. I'm chatty patty. But no chatty I'm patty questions for me, man. <laughs> Does he, does he believe the shit he's saying, or is he being for real? Like, you know what I'm saying? So it was like I was trying to understand where he was coming from. So I was doing a lot more listening. And then when you look back at it, you're like, fuck, I should have said this and said that. But he really did just kind of throw me off with the shit he was talking about. Now, if you could do it all over again, what's the things when you, after you watched it, you would have, what, what would you have asked him or what you would have uh, counted the, with? The only thing, I, only thing I would have said was, you know, you can't insult the working class. You know mm. what I'm saying? You can't be a businessman who is a boss, mm. you know, a CEO or whatever, and insult the working class. You can't say, yo, 95, or you'd say people would, that have jobs have no pride in themselves. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Having a having a boss is like calling somebody daddy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I would have just said you can't insult the working class and explain the process, mm -hmm. which I tried to get him to do. But I'm like, yo, you know, you you said you you didn't come out the womb a boss, Dave. But according to him, he did. He came out the womb the tycoon that he is. Whoever's paying you is your boss at the time. For the amount of time he's paying you, that's your boss. Okay. Is somebody paying me right then and there? That's why it's hard for me to do shows because that means somebody paying me. I'm like, I can't, I gotta be the promoter too. I just can't have somebody be my boss. So Leo Cohen was your boss at Never in life was he my boss, ever in life. He was never my boss ever. He might've made someone like a chatty patty think that, I'm his, that he was my boss, but he never put up a dollar in his life. He was never a boss of mine. So it's like, once you hear somebody talking like that, it's like, all right, man, I'm, I'm gonna be over here till you finish. One thing that I, I really didn't agree with inside that interview is I don't I didn't agree with the fact that he didn't want to talk about Jay-Z and, and I feel like that's a really, really big part of his story. I told you why. Get off of that man. Paul, you asked that man. Y'all never asked that man no questions about Oh, no, about we did. We that definitely we did. did. What did he answer? He did. He, he seemed like y'all had No, I just report. don't want to talk about those days. That was 15 years ago. Now that's just, still how y'all No matter me. how long he's been, people been asking him about it and they, I feel like he, he can't, he can't ignore that until, you know what I'm saying? You know, that, that didn't bother me. I, 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 and why? Because he has been asked that 10 million times. You know what I'm saying? But it's a new, it's a, it's a new nigga. Like. It is, it is, but then it's also Google. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I mean, other than him saying, yeah, I'm, I'm Dame Dash, I'm the guy that helped, you know, Jay get his start. You know, we did the whole Rockefeller thing, but I think the, que the, uh, the question was a little awkward. I think Envy asked him, um, how did you and Jay-Z meet? I can see him being a little frustrated. You, you talk about Harlem a lot, you know, I'm when, from when you're just talking or mm -hmm. from a long time. How did you meet up with Jay-Z, who was from Brooklyn? Because, like, you guys, you Clark Harlem Clark guys Clark are, Clark are tight. You really still curious about the Jay-Z? Yeah, absolutely. Plus, the fact I had on a Jay-Z t-shirt and a Rock Nation hat, mm -hmm. you know? You probably didn't want to talk about that shit at all. <laughs> I can understand. I can understand. I can understand where he was coming from with that. But the only thing I didn't like in that was him insulting the working class. That's all. What made you put on the, the Rock Nation uh, hat? It was a coincidence. Mm -hmm. I already told you. The reasons why I don't want to talk about that, man. You got one of them hats on right now. I told you why. Because look at the guys right here. It's a complete coincidence. Complete coincidence. Complete coincidence. I have been, I was up at Rock Nation maybe the day before. And Emery, salute to my guy Emery. Emery gave me the Rock Nation hat. I like the hat, it's a fly hat. What? And I was at Vinny's in Brooklyn. I got like four legend shirts. I got a Jay-Z legend shirt, a Tupac legend shirt, Michael Jackson and Nas. Mm -hmm. Just happened to have that. I'm not gonna wear, I'm not gonna wear a Nas legend shirt with the Rock Nation hat. Well, well. <laughs> you know yeah, you, but you weren't doing it to fuck with him though. Like, cause nah. I seen, remember the time uh, 2 chains uh, came up there and it was after the whole Illuminati thing. You had on Illuminati shirt that day. I didn't know that either. I saw that online. The motherfuckers had me, had to, uh, took the screenshot of the, the interview and was drawing shit, drawing triangles on me and said, look behind him and look at this. I'm like, I ain't know nothing about that shit. 
Get the fuck out of here. That shit, I, that pure coincidence. But once hey, again, hey, it's, it's great for entertainment. Do you think that these white men are afraid that it's going to be an influx of black presidents in the White House? No. No. Not at all. They know that shit is a novelty. Right. Okay? They worried about the next novelty. What's the next novelty? Woman. Right. Woman. They worry about the next novelty. Wow. You just brought us to our next question. I'm getting ready to do something, too. I'm running for president. Americans have fought their way back from tough economic times, but the deck is still stacked in favor of those at the top. And we want Hillary in the office, man. Me, too. Word, word. You know why? Hillary for hip hop. Yeah, I, not, not even for hip hop. I just like novelty. I can't go back to just a, a, a white man in the White House now. <laughs> I need a novelty. They gave us the black guy. Okay, cool. What's next? Oh, y'all got a woman this year? That's what I'm voting for. I'm not voting for just a white dude. No, you got to. They, they's gonna take a different type of white dude. Word. You know, it's gonna be have to be a white dude up there quoting Jay Z and quoting <laughs> Fifty and no Eminem lyrics. He gonna have to be a different type of white dude for me to vote for him. Word, you know what I'm word. I'm voting for Hillary, and I'm voting for a strictly because she a woman. And I say that just to piss people off. Why do you think that it would probably be hard for Hillary? What would be her obstacles for getting in office? There won't, there, there, there won't be any. There won't be any. There won't be any, number one, because there's, put it like this. You ever notice when people would say certain things to Barack, people would say, oh, he's racist? You're racist. You had to really kind of watch what you say to Barack, but you know they don't care about racism in America. They don't want people saying anything they want to him. It's different with women. Anything a guy could say that's remotely... Uh, misogynistic, you know, uh, chauvinistic, anything that makes it seem like he not with women, he fucked. So they gonna be treading real lightly around Hillary. Like what they got now, emails? So the fuck what, she had another email? You think I give a shit? Mm. I don't care that she has other emails. Who, who the fuck do you think she was emailing? Like ISIS? Like I don't know, who the fuck? Nobody gives a shit. So it's like, she really not gonna have nothing. Plus she come, come from great, le she come from a, a, a great legacy. You know, Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton held it down for eight years. Mm. And he got his dick sucked. And he's known as the first black president. And Hillary rocks with Barack. He, she's part of that regime. We rocking with Hillary. <laughs> Hillary got it. We, we are riding with Hillary. And I, ain't, I don't claim Republican or Democrat. I just like novelty in my presidents. And I like what Hillary comes from with the Clintons and the Obamas. So I'm voting for Hillary. I don't see her having no obstacles. She is my friend. I think she would be an excellent president. Is that, is that one of the, of the people that you would like to interview that you haven't interviewed? I would, I would definitely love to interview Hillary. Oh, if they say, oh, no hoes, boy, Charlemagne, be yourself. You can ask me whatever the I'm, fuck you want. Hey, y'all shut the fuck up. I'm going to say, Hillary, first of all, I want to um, commend you on the way you held it down when your husband got his dick sucked in the White House. Because the average woman would have left and it would have made him look bad and he probably would have really got impeached and the country would have went to shit. What made you hold it down after your husband got his dick sucked? That's it, because I know it's a lesson to be learned in that. A lot of girls can learn lessons from Hillary Clinton. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Hillary Clinton did not just... That don't make you a weak woman to, to, no, to stay. It, no, it actually makes you a little bit stronger. stronger. Mm. Yeah. Now, Hillary Clinton and, and, and Bill Clinton, at this point inside their marriage, do you think it's more business and for the look, or do they really love each other? Nah, man, they love each other, man. You can't be together that long and not love each other, man. Word. Come on, they've been together for years. They got kids, grandkids, man. They absolutely love each other. Whether or not, well, even if it is on some business shit, you know what I'm saying? They still love each other. She cannot not love that man, and he cannot not love that woman. And if they both break up, who the hell do they go to, right? Where do you go? Where do you go from there? You a Clinton. Like, Y'all are Clintons. Word. Bill is just as much Hillary as Hillary is just as much Bill. Mm. Hey, he can't go nowhere. Where are they going? Plus, they too old to go anywhere anyway. You know what I'm saying? Hillary will get something before. No, they both can. No, they, they both, they, 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 they both can come up. They both can do it. They both can do it. There you go. They both can. Do they it. both can. They do both it. can get somebody else. But they look crazy without each other. I don't think it's ever been a president that's ever got a divorce, right? It's like you can't do that shit. Shit, don't ask me. I just started voting when Barack got in the White House. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know nothing but none of that shit.